Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to swap BUSD from the Binance Smart Chain network over to the Velas network. And we're going to be using wallet.velas.com to do so. So one of the reasons you might want to be getting a hold of BUSD on the Velas network compared to the Binance Smart Chain is, for example, Valhalla's recent um, land sale. One of the tokens you could use, it's now sold out, so it's I can't display that. But one of the tokens you could use to purchase land was BUSD, but it had to be on the Velas network. And there may be similar situ scenarios like that in the future. So let's jump right into this. Start off by heading to wallet.velas.com. If you don't have a wallet set up yet, you can set one up super quickly, easily for free. And be sure to be using the wallet in the browser because I have found that some of the tokens may not be available to add if you're using the app version. Not sure the reasoning behind that. Then from here, you wanna make sure you have all the correct tokens added to the wallet. So by default, on the for the let's say the Velas network here, you probably won't have BUSD or Binance USD added here. So if let's say I just took that away to demonstrate that, you just want to click on this little square with the pencil on it, find Velas network, add Binance USD, like so, and it'll add it right there. Same for make sure you have Velas EVM. Velas EVM is the Velas which you utilize when you use Velas with MetaMask. And that's where we're going to be sending the Velas to the BUSD to in the end, because Velas is what could, I mean, my bad, MetaMask is what you'll connect because it's Web3 with the Valhalla site to purchase land and whatnot. Same for down here where it says BSC network. If you don't, if the tokens aren't here by default and, or you don't have them added, simply come up here to the pencil scroll down till you see bsc network and you'll see that busd and along with binance coin are tokens you can add so make sure you have velas evm binance and binance usd on velas and make sure you have binance usd and binance coin on the bsc network next up uh we're gonna send over some busd to our to our BSC network. So BUSD, which is on Binance Smart Chain or BS, BSC, hopefully it doesn't get too confusing with all the terms, is gonna be the BUSD which you would trade on PancakeSwap, for example, and then the BUSD which is on the Velas network, that's gonna be the token that you would trade on WagySwap, which are both two different DEXs for different networks. So moving right along, I'm going to send some BUSD to my address here. So I'll just click on that, copy the address from here, head over into my MetaMask. Let me make sure I'm on Smart Chain. Right here, I have some BUSD. By the way, when using, when swapping within the wallet, within the Vela's wallet, you need to have a minimum of 100 BUSD. So I'll be sending just a little bit more than that. Just go with 120. Go ahead and confirm, and that is being sent off. Also, make sure to have some BNB in your BNB address here. So as you can see, I have 0 0.0045. Do that the same by copying the address and sending it from your MetaMask or from wherever it is you have BNB. You don't need much. You just need a very small amount to, to, to do the swap. It's just a small fee that needs to be taken from there. So without that, you won't be able to do the swap. I already have some, but if let's say, for example, I would just copy in it, heading over to my MetaMask where I have my BNB and sending that right over. But it's the same process as sending the BUSD. If it doesn't show up right away, just refresh the wallet, um, log back in. And there we go, because these networks are lightning fast. Okay, so now that we have our BUSD here and we have our BUSD over here, if you don't add the token here, it won't let you create the swap. So make sure you have all your tokens added within the wallet before you start swapping. Just click on, make sure we're selected on the right token. Go ahead and click swap. 
We're going to be swapping, choose the network. We'll be swapping to the Vela's network. That's correct. How much would we like to swap? I'll be going just use max to send all of it. Down here, we can see the BUSD, which we'll receive. And this right here is the fee for the swap. It's 0 0.0001 of a BNB or just over seven cents. Um, very little. Go ahead and swap that. Please confirm. Yes. And there we go. The swap has been initialized. So we just give it a moment and that'll be over there. Took around two minutes, refresh the page, and here we go. We have our BUSD on now on the Vela's network. Just like that, super easily, cost us a few cents, and yeah, really, really quick. So next, I'll show how to send it to your MetaMask. So I'm going to open up my MetaMask. I will switch the network to the Vela's network. If you don't have the Vela's network added in your MetaMask, there's sites that show how to add the Vela's network manually in the settings, or there's sites where you can just click one button and add it. We'll leave links in the description. Um, we also have other videos on different, different specific topics. This is mainly covering swapping. Okay, so I'm on the Vela's network on the account that I'd like to send my BUSD to. As you can see, I already have some here. Go ahead and copy the address by clicking on it. And this is where you'll need to have some Vela's EVM token in here it can be a little confusing with these different velas tokens don't worry about velas legacy velas native is velas like native token and then velas evm is what you can use in metamask so if you don't have any velas in your metamask and you need to get a hold of some if you can if you have velas native then you can swap that over to velas evm if you need to do that you like like previously, you really hardly need any. You just need a very small amount just to cover the fee. And if you don't have Vela's native, we have another video on how to purchase that using the exchange KuCoin. So if you don't have any VLX yet, that's how you would get it from scratch. And then you can buy that for different cryptos. But we have our Vela's EVM. We would like to send our BUSD on Vela's. Go ahead and send. Go ahead and paste our address I'd like to send the max down here there's a see the fee is 0. 0.0002 of a VLX just crazy it's amazing and we will go ahead and send that confirm and there we have it it's arrived took less than a minute and our BUSD is there. So this, we now have our BUSD in our Vela's wallet. If for example, we were using it, if we wanted to participate in buying loot boxes and getting some land in the metaverse, then we have that option or any other case where you need uh, BUSD. One more thing that I should cover is if you don't have the BUSD token added, on the Vela's network, it won't automatically show up. So just because you send a token to an address with MetaMask, the token won't automatically show up all the time. You may need to import the token manually if you need to do that. This right here is the multi-chain BUSD address um, gotten from the Vela's EVM Explorer. I'll leave a link to this page in the description. So you would just copy this, copy this address scroll down to where you see import tokens and paste the address the tokens already been added so it's not letting me add it again and then it'll automatically fill in the token symbol and token decimal and then you can add it so that you can see your busd what's cool is even if you don't add the address but you connect your wallet to let's say valhalla it'll recognize it and automatically pull it up within there but it is nice to be able to see it within your wallet so yeah, we'll leave all the links in the description. Hope you found this video useful or helpful in some way. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Bell Hala out.